All right, what's going on everybody? Today we're doing a blind and live reaction to Emesis Blue, a video that I've never seen before that I'm very looking forward to. So what we've got going on is we have a timer here for the VOD watchers. This is when we will start and it also allows people to filter in uh, as there's nobody in right now. <laughs> and I'm talking to uh, nobody. Oops, that's the video. So let me go ahead and grab this stream so I can place it into my discord. Oh, and then I have this just to pass the time. I can show you the world. Because one of the privileges of being a YouTuber is sharing your Minecraft world. Um, unsolicited. What's up? What's going on, everybody? Oh, I accidentally did five hours. That's okay. We'll just do it when the timer hits five minutes. When this hits 5.55, we start. And a little background is that I actually... Oops. I actually study horror movies um, as well as dystopian movies. So this is going to be very fun. So like I said, when that timer hits 4.55, we're going to go ahead and start it up. But I thought in the meantime, I'd show you my, my current Minecraft world. Maybe I'll do this like once a stream. Um, so we're in a cherry. Someone's going to be very confused. Hello, me, uh, Wade. Now nah, let's wait five hours. Okay. Um, this is my farm. I live in a cherry hills biome. What the heck was that? Hello, Alex Candy. Computy, Wade. Uh, down there is my mine. There's actually one of the new structures. I forget what they're called. They're called like chambers or something like that because I am playing on the snapshot. Um, oh, oh, we're good. Over here, there is a zombie spawner, which, oh, it's actually up here. Or no, maybe it is, maybe it is, yeah, there it is, you can see the cobblestone. Tormiverse, what's going on? And, okay, now that I can turn the music credit off. I got a horse, a mule, and a donkey. Here's my mule. He's a little baby. He's so cute. And they're friends. Here's my chicken. His name is Ronald. It is very pink. Yes, this is my cat number one. This is cat number two. This is my main room of operations. We got the crafting table. We got the smithing table. We got the furnace. We got the anvil. We got the bed. And then this is my storage room. We've got the netherite ingot. Oh yeah. This is my dog. His name is Jeremy. And then right now, this is my current work in progress. We're trying to build uh, an enchantment table room. So I'm just getting the um, the books. So my next uh, quest is to find a village or a uh, stronghold. And I'm not done with the floors yet because this requires jungle logs and that's quite out of my way. And then here's a map. And um, I also used to have a different base. This is the current one I'm building, which is kind of in a ravine. But that's about it. Shuki... Uh, be feeling like a room without a roof here. Okay, don't hate. I know we're roofless, but at the same time, I like looking up at the sky and seeing my trees. Maybe I'll do glass. You know what? You, uh, your bullying has inspired me, Tormiverse. Maybe I'll put glass here or something. But um, if you notice the the outside of the walls, we have these very fancy accents, which I've been carefully detailing. So, I just thought I'd show this off to y'all, and then maybe uh, next week when we do the the tournament, or the, not tournament, the compilation of images, I need glass here as well, uh, I'll show you my progress. It's been five minutes, it's been five minutes in 30 seconds, and we'll go, get, we'll go ahead and get into it. I know you all are eager to watch this movie, I know I am, I've never seen it before, and I'm a huge fan of cyberpunk dystopia horror, so it's gonna be fun. Make sure that saves, cool. And let us begin in two, one. 
All right, like I said, I've never seen this before, but I'm a huge fan of TF2 and horror and things like that in general. I got it pretty loud for myself, so I'll turn it up for y'all. How, let me know how levels are. All right, Helix Technology presents the respawn machine. Copyright, do not distribute. Oopsies. Trial one, respawn. It's eternity in there. Respawn. My eyes hurt. Oh my god, there's missing eyes. Interesting. A little bit of foreshadowing there. We saw an engineer and a medic. Probably going to be the scientists. Thursday, October 31st, 1968. Alright, Halloween night. Right before 8pm. Excuse me for sounding congested. I am very congested right now. But maybe, uh, you know, we'll drink some water and we'll sound better. I love the color grading. And we got our, our man here. He's getting uh, PTSD flashbacks, it looks like. Truck. Oh, the red specifically as well. I don't know if that's um, interesting or not. All right, there's like some some demon thing at the end, or maybe that's him, and then the bodies are in like some type of sewer. Oh, it's like The Shining. Vietnam War flashbacks. That's like a plague doctor. I can see the beak. Oh, look at it, the D over his name, like death. SCP-068. Oh, oh, look at that. The medic is like seeing himself in it or something. His eyes are, uh... Alright. That is interesting. So definitely he's, um... He's seeing some type of visions. He's got an aftershade, so he's been there for a while. I know it's late, but... Mind if I ask you something? You ever have bad dreams? Oh, look how tired he looks. They all look really tired. Julius Archibald kidnapped New Mexico. Tell me about it. Well, I was in the bathroom, right? And as I was brushing my teeth, all my teeth started to fall out. There was blood all over the basin. It was horrible. Yeah, falling out teeth dreams. Something? Yeah, actually. Whoa, look, he's got a stitch. Feeling like you're being watched? What do you mean? When I went to bed last night, I could swear there was someone standing outside my window. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Someone was just passing by. Mm, projection. Doc, I was on the second floor. <laughs> uh, have you spoken to your mother about this? She says it's all in my head. <sighs> well, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. Yeah, the animation, the lighting, the and the voice tonight. acting is you very should... well done. Come on, Doc. I don't need this stuff. Valium? I think you do, Scout. This doesn't seem normal. You sound like my mother. Yeah. Help me out here. She must be thrilled you're moving back in with her. <clears throat> After being laid off? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna sue the hell out of Blue for what they did to me. Well, you wouldn't be the first. Doc, if they ever hit you with something, you hit back twice as hard, you hear me? Well, it's getting late. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Jeez. You got a whole video store in there. What the hell could have done that? 1920, 1927. 1931. I know, like, sometimes oh. voice actors don't necessarily sound like the characters, but I think you have to pay attention more to their actual performance. Even, even though it, it can be a little distracting. Oh, look, now they're both seeing visions. Nope, that was just a red light. 
But they definitely heard something. Okay, so that was like the prologue. Chapter 1, Graveyard Shift. Are we still on the 31st? BSH tapes in 1968? I guess it doesn't make sense as to why there was VHS in the 1920s and 1930s. If you don't vote for him... I didn't see that. Oh look, there's one of those soldiers. Not like him soldier, but soldier from the machines. Lucky strike. Smoking in the car. Scout, no, do not watch any of the tapes. It didn't end well for Pink Bull and Ringu. He's here. I need my... What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Give me that before you hurt yourself. So they're you all saying visions. To keep a lookout. I told you to wait in the car. Look, what if it's an ambush? He's alone. He shouldn't take long. That Rusky's twice your size. I just need to make him talk. What if he doesn't? Just keep an eye out for the police. Oh, so they're doing something sketchy. Wow, that was cool. Where he breathed the smoke out of his nose. Look at the lighting. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes since the previous events. Builders League. You look lost, comrade, and that suit doesn't fit you. Look at the framing. I did not ask for your opinion. His bulkiness. Who's the handoff? Who's your new Contrasted to the gun. I don't know what you're talking about. Who kidnapped Archibald? Was it you? You're not the price of betrayal, friend. They'll throw you up against the wall for this. What's on the briefcase? It does not concern you. Hand it over. You want my briefcase? Oh. He's screwed. He's gonna get the crap beat out of him. This is 189 reporting a 513 to local cemetery. The vehicle in question is a black hearse. Can I say again? Oh. A black hearse. I think they're sussing him. That is correct. 189, is this a joke? You're still a friggin' hearse at this hour. <laughs> Oh, you think that's funny, 189? That wasn't me. Oh, crap. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Classic soldier. Smash that bottle like a demo man. Ooh! It didn't even break! <laughs> Better stories than most of the dramas on Max. Wow, look at that lighting with the cross in the background. Hey, Stalingrad. <laughs> Eat this. Oh, don't shoot him. Oh. Why? That was your teammate. I mean, ex teammate. He was our only lead, and now he's dead. Oh, so you were just talking? <sighs> We have to get out of here. What about the body? I left my camera in the car. Pitch it for me. No. I think I'm gonna save your skinny ass again, right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there's the black hairs. Oh shit. So he's real. So. Oh my gosh. What the hell happened? He took the briefcase. Okay, either he's real or he's a manifestation or some type of projection from the, all the negative hey, energy that's Doc, surrounding this situation yes? what did you mean when you said i'm not the first you talking about the accident 
Exposition. You telling me that this has happened before? Doc, what is wrong with the respawn machine? Uh, it doesn't always work like it's supposed to. Some get stuck inside trying to come through. What the hell are you talking about, Doc? Uh, I've only seen it happen once. On the front lines, he came through screaming horribly. When I ran out to see what happened, I... I... What did you see, Doc? You don't want to know. Thanks for the ride, Doc. You sure you don't want to come in? At least say hi to Mom? Tell her I did, Scout. I have to get back to the office. You really gotta get out more often, Doc. <coughs> Catch you later, alright? I'll see you soon. Will he? This is the perfect setup hey, for the guy to appear. I'm home. Where the hell have you been? You were soaked. Just getting a checkup, Mom. I'm fine. Mm hmm okay. Definitely a manifestation. Look at that. He's what the heck is with that face? I feel bad for the guy. Look at the face next to him on the couch. I think he's on something. Now he's drinking and taking his meds. Okay. Who is this? Who are you? Hey, Ma. It's like a poltergeist. Hey, not a poltergeist. It's definitely a, a spirit or of some kind. Cause he's using some fancy. Whoa! Look at that. All the dead red pieces. Oh. That's a very creepy. Oh my god. All right, all right. It was. It was different from our normal man. It was different from our plague doctor guy. That guy had a white mask. Maybe he's coming back. Yeah, he probably feels bad because of what he said. Hello? L. He's shaking. And we'll see you later, computing. Maybe the M is supposed to represent the character. <clears throat> Look how freaked he is. He's tripping right now. Ooh! So the handoff was an undertaker? Almost. What could be in that briefcase? Money, gold, diamonds? I don't think this is about money. Yeah. Is it a bomb? If it was, he wouldn't hit me over the head with one. But if it's Archibald's severed head? Enough, soldier. If we don't find out where he is, they'll have all our heads. What the hell do you think you're doing? I think I know who to ask. Soldier that only receives and doesn't transmit. Brigger, Brigger, this is 185. I'm gonna need an update on that stolen hearse. Roger, 185. This is 187. Nice. Quick thinking. 10 4. Tail it. It's pulling up on Purgatory Avenue. I'm gonna intercept. It's gonna disappear. Soldier. Sir, I'm gonna need you to roll down your window. I can't see your face. <laughs> Good God. What street was that? Purgatory. Purgatory. What a setup.
still a lot of mystery surrounding the entire situation. Oh, so he's concussed. Oh my goodness. Oh, what the heck? It was a vision. His hands are bloody. Maybe he, uh, maybe it's like I said, maybe he's the the pr proprietor and we're kind of seeing two separate storylines convulge and he doesn't like, really remember who he is. Kind of like a like a dual personality type thing. I'm just spitballing. Look, he can't wash the hand, the blood off of his hands. Oh! Look, attention to detail with the blood on the sink there. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, because who would have given him these things, like the photos and the key? There's definitely somebody else. Hello? Hey, Doc? Oh, thank God, Scout! Are you alright? I know it's late, but mind if I ask you something? What? Oh, but he's dead. Scout, where are you? You ever get the feeling like you're being watched? Uh, that's their previous conversation. What the hell have you done with him? Conagher Slaughterhouse? The engineer? Oh, listen to this music. This is so cool. Intel Hell. I've been working downtown for over 30 years now, and I ain't never seen nothing new. <laughs> I like this guy's voice. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll get you patched up in no time. And nobody comes in here except paramedics, you hear me? And somebody get these clowns off my crime scene. I don't need it's this the last right now. time. We are federal agents. I am Detective Mannix. This is Lieutenant Colombo. We are looking for a very dangerous criminal. Will somebody run a background check on these bozos? There ain't no way they're FBI. Federal agents. September 24th, so it was a week ago. You. He's probably just carrying 99% rate insurance and not cover the 1%. Or something. I tried to bring him down, but he just kept coming at me. It was like a nightmare. Yeah, the poor bastard got his own sidearm in the gut. Interesting. Chief, they just found 187's body stuffed inside a dumpster. Jesus Christ. How did he escape? What was he driving? Look, I think you've asked enough questions here, pal. Ambulance! See, look, he needs a doctor, so why don't you just... No, he was driving a goddamn ambulance. All right, everyone step outside. There's too many people in here, for Christ's sake. Soldier. Get in the car. Okay. So... They both came through the respawn machine, the 1% about it not necessarily working. They kind of, let's say, they got messed up. Is this our medic or is this a different medic? This is, this is a different medic. He's, look at his eyebrows. No, this is our medic because why else would he be here? There you go, yeah. So, now I'm more confused because who, how could somebody, maybe somebody's playing him. Controlling him or manipulating him. I like that he's just in two for it. The hell? Uh, 
Uh, that's probably a vision because you can see the blood. Check the bathroom. Storm is cut for power. Mirror is shattered. There's blood all over the sink. Christ. Must have been a fight or something. Ah! The voice line. My God. It's his latest victim. This <laughs> model, you idiot. This is worse than I thought. You know, they made me take a bunch of this stuff. Said I was seeing things. And did the medication work? I don't know. I never took any of it. Right. <laughs> he is seeing things, though. He did see the guy. I mean, I guess the guy's real. Because no, he did don't. point a gun at Spy. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Who am I? What the hell are you? Who is this? What? It's him. Listen to me, punk. You're not gonna think this is funny when I strangle you to death with your own stethoscope. Who is this? It's the voice of God, you son of a bitch, and I'm coming for you! That's such funny dialogue. It's so perfect for the soldier. Dude. I thought I just saw a face. Is there a face? I'm starting to see visions too. But he's dead. Damn, he looks huge. He's tripping again. So this is like an hour and 50 minutes long, so I refuse to believe it doesn't have some, like, message. It doesn't have a message, is what I'm saying. I refuse to believe it doesn't have a message. So I'm trying to, you know, pay attention as much as I can, but I'm not really gathering anything right now. But, like I said, we're only like 20 minutes in, so... You know, closest thing I could say is like, mental health. This movie made me go to TF2 just to stare at Medic for minutes. <laughs> that scream made me look up for a second because I thought it was coming from my house. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's been here. Break him out! Oh, that was the key he was given. So is Scout in there? Watch him be dead. Oh, he's alive. He looks even worse. Wait, Scout! I'm trying to help you! If I had a gun, I'd shoot you, you sick bastard! No! Stop! <laughs> 
looks good, Viper. Oh, fudge. He just got wrangled to death. There he is. Is that the briefcase? Is he wearing black? Oh my gosh. He's donezo. Thanks, Mike. You look lost, boy. Now, brother. I do believe that you were the one who chained out that coffin. There's two different ones. Do you know I did, brother? Well, the specification. So how do you get out? <laughs> Dumbass. Oh. We'll go on then. Say something. <laughs> He's dead. Well, we we'll let you out. I'm glad they did because I like company. <sighs> Look at the blood marks when he was on the wall. God, engineer is so short. Interesting. So he definitely was the person that was messing up the scout when he was at his house with his mother. Hey, welcome back, computer. He doesn't remember it. He has zero memory of doing any atrocious acts. All right, we're back on these clans. Uh, so, this is where the medic is at. There's two engineers. You've had that thing in my car this whole time. Oh my god. For emergency. Just what do you plan to do with it? I'm gonna use it to jump across this ravine. Yes, yeah, rocket jump. What? I've done it before. Put that down before you get us killed. <laughs> Uh, oh! All right, so now they're all con converging. Next chapter, chapter four? No, still chapter three. Look at that. It's definitely some split personality stuff going on. That's for certain. I've recollected that much. Even with the the table, it's like the Wrangler or the phone. He's gonna use the Wrangler. And they have the briefcase. I think I already pointed that out, but... Dang. Like, who are they working for? I guess the people who kidnapped the... Hey, Del, you haven't called me in a while. How's Dust Bowl working out, brother? <laughs> Gone. God. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. It doesn't look good. But what about my little brother? Is he all right? Listen, I'm coming up to the slaughterhouse now. Is the briefcase secure? Sure. I swear to God, if anything happens to my brother, I'm gonna. Shut up and listen to me. Forget the death subject. I think we've been compromised. You're so goddamn inconsiderate. Shut up! Yeah, who knows how? Look, when are you gonna be back? We shouldn't have to deal with this. And what about my brother? Let it out, man. Let it out. <gasps> he 
He's gonna choke him. You don't think he's gonna scream? Oh! A lot of head trauma. He got punched, now he got hit with the phone. And that, oh, oh my god! He's dead. Not actually, but jeez. <gasps> oh. Dang, I thought he was our MC. Oh, oh I see. And is he is he gonna come back as a? Where is he? He's still there. Dang. So something is not right. <laughs> Look at his eyes. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see what they did to him. What? <laughs> On the piano. I mean, what's the point? You look like that, bro. What the hell's going on in there? I asked you a question, dumbass. I said, What the hell are you? Now, that ain't a toy, son. Put it down. <laughs> now. Now, don't do nothing stupid, boy. You got no idea who you're dealing with. What did he pull a drill out on him? His eyes are so vibrant. I would have got you. Yeah, okay. So we're probably done with the first act. Crossroads. What about our boys? Some harsh sound effects. I am never going to find out you bald in this excrement. Back in the war, we would spend weeks stuck in wet dugouts like this, with water up to your ankles. They were built only six feet wide, but they could go on. What's for that, Maglo? Kill me now. Maglaquin? You have no comprehension of what you're getting into. I have a pretty damn good idea. 
We should have called for backup. And what the hell do you think I'm doing? I just saved you from a bullet to the head. And who was it that told them we were coming, hmm? Who's been killing our leads and getting the police involved? Maybe it's because he blew you up a car. this entire operation. What about all those pictures? That's evidence we can use, right? They were in the car, you idiot. Now I have nothing because of you, you stupid bastard, you amateur. I hope you can swim because you're going right back out the way you came. You're gonna shoot me? We're done. I don't care what wretched battalion you think you come from. You are not coming with me. You shot one of your own before? Get out of my way. Can't believe he's doing this. Yeah, focus on the bigger picture here, guys. Maybe get out of the line of fire. You better drop that rifle before I come over there and put my foot up your. Who the hell is out there? Looks like Ray Charles traded the piano for an M40. What? I've got an idea. He's gonna throw his hat. What are you, blind? Come on, right here. Take your mess. He's faking. Oh, he got his legs. You think I didn't come prepared? How did you know he wouldn't shoot you in the head? I didn't. <laughs> He's red. Let's finish him off right here and now. Let him bleed. Something isn't right with that sniper, and definitely not right with the situation going on right now. Pyro? Oh, that's the one who, uh, who was in the scout's house. He's gonna let him get captured. He doesn't even care. You drop it. Nice. Take off the mask. Damn. Soldier, don't leave me. Sheesh. Grab the sniper rifle. He's gonna grab it. You should watch Spider-Man RAF too soon. It's also a good film available on YouTube. Get him! Oh! Oh, there were bullets in there, too. This is pretty horrific, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what did he just crack his back? I want to know what the hell is going on here. I don't know. That's probably bits meat by now. I've already lost one man. I'm not gonna lose another. Then you're a dead man. 
You haven't lost both eyes and Cyclops, so tell me what you've seen. Demo. I don't have time for this. Wait, you gonna get me out of here? Why the hell should I? Paranormal stuff going on here. This was the, this is like the tunnel from the, oh, he's having PTSD. This is horrific. If you saw earlier, the medic was playing chess with the the plague doctor, probably because you know they have a connection. All right, now we're back in reality. Does he have one arm? You're gonna finish that? Huh. Hey. I'm looking for Jules Archibald. Who's asking? His rescue. Afraid you're gonna be disappointed. I want to know what the hell is going on here. I don't know. That's probably this meat by now. I've already lost one man. I'm not gonna lose another. Wait, this is the conversation Did he was having like before. Oh, you haven't lost both eyes yet, Cyclops. So tell me what you've seen. Gonaga brothers. They run the joint, but this is red territory. Not anymore. Who's the guy you were just talking to? What guy? Is he already dead? I don't have time for this. Wait. You gotta get me out of here. Why the hell should I? There's a whole stash of guns locked in a keep upstairs. I can get you in. He's gonna throw the crowbar. Oh. Let him out. I wonder where they locked him up. This is the respawn.
Ew. Zombies? Are we dealing with zombies now? These are just straight up zombies. Yeah. It's disgusting. They're cornered. Yeah, crossroads. That was that was cool. I was going to say, what about the soldier? Stop it. What is he trying to do? Don't you get it? We're trapped. to kill us. Mm. Chapter five? No. Oh, back here. Haven't seen him in a while. What is he putting the guys there? <sighs> so there's zombies? And some they're red zombies. So this will be a red medic zombie. Unless it's one of the weird gunky demons. Nope, these are red. Are they all zombies? That sniper was kind of zombie-ish. Although he kind of had autonomy. Mm. He's like, I don't know if I want to go in there. It's the next day, it's, it says November 1st. But only by a couple hours, because it says 12.30 a.m. That guy's still lurking too. Because remember we saw him chasing the soldier? Why does he have a mask?
Oh, by the head? I can't watch. My eyes are closed. Should have ran when he had the chance, buddy. That's the guy that he killed. Oh! Demo, shoot him! Gosh, so many back injuries. Alright, Torma, I'll catch you later. Ah. <gasps> oh my gosh! I see, this is why it's called Crossroads. This is the squad! Bro, rip the spy though. Cigarette. Alright, Mike, I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Ah! Oh, he gave it to him. <laughs> yeah, they're both like, what's with this guy? <laughs> what up, Jack Monster? my first time watching this. I'm really liking it so far. It's just very, very, very intense and gory. Not for the for the faint of heart. It's a lot of like limb detachment. The doorway. This is a flashback. You wanted a promotion? Here it is. What up, Scooter? What's the charge? Good to have you. What's Remember earlier, time, he was like, never shot one of your uh, own before. I want a new car. Oh. Anything else? My own personal assistant. Anything you like, Corporal. And he gives him the soldier? My god. Shit, personal assistant. Oh no, no that's his own son, boy. dude! I think I burned it. Oh, he's still alive. Hello, Frenchman. Why did they keep him alive? You can get away with this. Build this league will destroy you for what you've done. It's nice Don't to have you again. I knew I recognized your name. I'm a protected man. What do you want? 
I believe we're only about a halfway through, so. There is more to come, gore wise. Not the biggest fan of gore because it freaks me out. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, whoa. Oh, burnt face. Definitely a pyro. Oh! That is freaky. I don't believe it. On your feet, Cyclops. Uh, I think I lost my piece. Can't go back for it now. <laughs> you don't work for the Conigers, do you? I killed the Conigers. Who gave you that order? They tried to kill me. Is that enough? That doesn't belong to you. I can explain. I can't see a bloody thing. Yeah, maybe because you have one eye. Corpse model? Yeah, I know. It is it is the source engine corpse model face. Still creepy fight. though. I saw the devil in their eyes, man. Pyro's face is actually the same texture as the Half-Life Corpse 01 model? Really? How far down are we? Got what did it say? That looked like it was German. Oh, he's here. You hear that? His name is like the Mauber or something like that. <gasps> is that him? Mr. Archibald? Oh. oh, thank God! A rescue! You have to get me out of here before I contract something. Are you injured, sir? I hate this guy. I'm about to have a heart attack. Now, are you going to stand there? His voice actor is so you good. Are? You're right where you belong, you fat crooked bastard. Smart bloody leper, aren't you? Soldier, why are you dragging this corpse around? Uh, this man called me. He's been handy, sir. He's got none left. Are you conspiring with I the love this dialogue. Just trying to help, sir. Oh! And stop wasting my time. Demo's like, I found my place. Why is there a bar in in the prison? Oh, he's definitely seeing things. Yeah, he's 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 the one who's contracting stuff. Bus? What is he doing? Now's not the time to have an existential crisis. I mean, you did just come back from the dead a couple minutes ago. Oh. You want me to do it, don't you? But I won't. You can't make me. You can't make me. They're all seeing things. Uh, it's like they're all seeing what they want to see. So he's seeing an escape. Cyclops? Demo's seeing a bar, and Medic is just d doing whatever. Ooh. <gasps> oh, the oddly realistic human model. That is cool. Oh, that's cool. Hello, Bill. Long night, eh? Longer than you think. Care for a drink? Watching Peak. I love this. It's like The Shining. Dr. Darkly, great to have you. I thought you were miles away, lad. Where you been hiding? Who says I've been hard? Your brothers thought you were dead. <laughs> so he is seeing things. A relapse is a hell of a thing, ain't it? Too right. My gosh. <sighs> 
takes a takes it a bit out. Yeah, it definitely breaks the immersion a little bit. But what are you gonna do? It's just it's confusing to me because they have all these custom models like this guy. Some of us would tell stories about what we saw on the other side. We saw old friends, family, mostly strangers. I spoke to my grandfather. This is so freaky. I don't. Ah, uh, that's so. That's so freaky. Hmm. Makes me want to cry. I'm not even gonna lie. You. It's eternity in there. That's what the first guy said. That's what the first soldier said in the beginning. That was what he said. He said, "Said it's an eternity in there." You good, bro? Uh, this is a similar shot to... Oh, you know what? The chapter is called The Doorway. Keep this door closed at all times, and then it's open. Terminal. Like, like having a terminal disease. I'm picking up on the symbology. I'm a mise-en-scene construction man. Mise-en-scene. Yeah, I know Archibald is a, is a, a TF2 classic. It's the civilian, isn't it? Oh, there's Scout. A lot of water uh, motifs. You know, the black water. and Here's some water here as well. <sighs> I, I wanted to read that. Okay, interesting. So they had a respawn machine and it was corrupted. Oh, the scout's mom. Maybe he's the corruption. Shut up, Scout in the Void is inspired by the Void seen from Stranger Things. There's a lot of inspiration from different movies and, and medias. Like, we just saw a direct Shining reference. Jeez. At the you know what. The pregnancy machine. They lost 90? Oh, those are the 10 classes, or 9 classes. There's probably an extra person. Oh, there you go. Double-sided, lying, cheat. Please. That was this crazy reveal. So the respawn machine only works for the nine mercenaries. That makes sense. I can't believe one of them shot themselves. Maybe that was the first soldier we saw. The one that, that said it's eternity in here. The one with the messed up eyes. Maybe they're the shadowy demon guy. I saw the skeletons turn to look, yeah. What did you just unlock, dude? Oh, that's the shot from the beginning. This is the exact shot from the beginning.
It's the Christian Brutal Sniper! People love getting shot in the leg in this. I wonder why it went black and white. I kinda- I'm vibing with it though. If you didn't need to distinguish colors in TF2, this would be really awesome to be black and white. They're really just chilling. Aha, I was wondering when he was going to use his invis watch. I did see that it was working when he was in the sewer. Oh, he actually got up. Oh, wow, you dummy. Shouldn't have put an axe near him when he's tied up. <sighs> Little animation error there. Hello chat, how are you enjoying the movie so far? This is odd. Why would you do that? It's gonna blow up. I guess he's trying to, yeah. Come on, dude. You hit him over the can with a gasoline tank. Oh, his leg is still hurt. Oh! No! Ooh. Pew Mew 12, thank you for stopping by. I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm trying to piece everything together. I think that the medic is, is like a schizo and he has like a dual split personality type thing. And I think that he is the messed up entity that was in the respawn machine. I think maybe he, he has like abilities that can project himself. I don't know, this is my first time watching it, so. No spoilers, please. Hello, I exist now, boy from an island. Welcome. Burning is one of my greatest fears. It's also w one of the most painful ways you can unalive. Especially like that. Yeah, that was atrocious. This is the scout's apartment. seeing more visions I'm getting more psychological horror vibes when I went to bed last night I could swear there was someone standing outside my window I, I, I don't believe you're here someone was just passing by I think I already pieced that together that the mutilated guy I don't know if you just spoiled that for me or not but uh I'm pretty sure I already pieced that together anyway the tenth guy was the guy from the beginning the one that killed himself Two twenty-two a.m. My goodness! Thank you for sticking it out as long as you have. You're very nice. I appreciate you, Pew Mew. I'll see you later, Maglaclin. Playing medic for way too long in TF2 makes you schizo against any uh, against almost any other class. It's true. It's true. That makes you makes you go insane. Oh my gosh! Ew! Ew!
Why is he in a cathedral? This isn't an actual spoiler. There's no such thing as a half spoiler. Any piece of information that you're giving me is spoiling the, the, the thing for me because it's about context. Why is he in a confession box? So the movie was called M. Hey, look at that, a crucifix? Yeah. A lot of crucifix symbolization. Woo, okay. Is that like their original bodies or something? No, because they're all soldiers. I feel like he's the one who's figuring out cloning be like. See, so yeah, there's another Shining reference, the Demo Man froze. So, he's figuring out the background lore, and the medic is still having his psychosis. Oh, oh, this is the laboratory, because he has, his, he has the two eyes, so, he just froze? Damn. Maybe he was already dead by the time he walked in. Ah. Throw it. So, I don't know if Spy is dead yet, because he did roll into the water, but he did seem to get burned pretty badly. Throw that! Throw it! Oh. Okay, so he was, um, it was a vision, maybe? No, 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 that was, aww. Oh. Oh, that was the grenade. So, I feel like their stories are, uh, convulging, perhaps? What, he can't die? Look, he, he has the- he has the scar on his face that says, uh, M. Chop his head off! It was very subtle, but now his face is bloody and you can't see it. But there was a scar on his face that said M. Kind of like he was engraving it onto him. Now there's a bunch of masked people. Goldman, I'm in a fix and you have to get me out of it. I cannot go to trial. I simply won't. I'm already on thin ice with the old man, and if any word gets out about that godforsaken asylum, I'll be sued into oblivion. Me and maybe even home. My chances for re-election will be ruined. I am not going down for a war crime. This is an average politician. So what if I made a deal with the old man's brother? The war is their business, and mine is to drag it out for as long as humanly possible. That infernal, unholy contraption is my lifeline, Goldman.
moment a chance I'll have to take. Where am I calling from? That's a stupid question. You know bloody hell where I am. I heard you've been kidnapped. What's going on? Kidnapped? I don't know anything about that. Listen very carefully, Goldman. I think there are people trying to kill me. And worse yet, I think this Valium is actually... Continue this call. Please deposit five cents. No oh, blast. Oh, so he's taking Valium too. Maybe it's uh, it's the Senator Palpatine. Maybe the Valium is messing with them. Although Soldier wasn't taking it. Wow, look at that framing. That's so cool. Is that the spy? It's me, Jules. Oh, thank God, Corporal. You've come to save me. Jeez, Have he looks I? messed up. I've always been the one to save you, Archie. I did your dirty work and hid it from everyone, and look what it did to me. My God! Who is there to save me, Jules? You've never cared about anyone but yourself, Corporal. No, please. For Shoot God's him. Sake. Shoot him in the head. Well, there's no one here to protect you now. But uh, I, I've given you everything you wanted. And I'm giving you exactly what you deserve. Yeah. That is exactly what he deserves. So he's still alive. Scarface and SFM. I'm a bit lost with with uh, what's going on with them, so I'm worried that I'm gonna have trouble figuring out. I'm on. All right, fine. Hello again. If you're watching this, then I can say with complete certainty that you have survived respawn compatibility. Congratulations. If you're confused, allow me to explain. Before you were lawfully executed by the state, you signed a contract effectively donating your mortal remains to a medical trial. The good news is, you're not on death row anymore, since you're technically already dead. Hmm. Which also means you're now company property. Hmm. But you're not. As promised, That's you have a new job waiting for you when you get out. You are now ten of the strongest mercenaries money can buy, and your sacrifice will reward you in time. I'll see you all on the other side. That is dystopian as heck. That is so cyberpunk. You die and then you just become corporate property. Oh, but look, look at all these uh, complications from the machine. Hey, thank you for subscribing. It's cornered now. You really want to die for that fat bastard? He can speak? Don't you want to die for something worth dying for? Do you have any idea how long I've waited for this? How long can you think? It's gonna be the spy. Oh! How is he still alive? Maybe there's multiple of them. What took you so long? No, but that's the one with the- Ah, it's gonna be the medic. That was clever. Kind of like Robocop? Yeah, very like Robocop. Just see, so you, you kind of, um... You give up your autonomy. Actually, you don't give up your autonomy. Your autonomy is forced, exiled upon you. See you on the other side. What if we call him a wanker? Ooh, more gore. Why did you come here? I was trying to save somebody. So was I. Hmm. Scout's dead. Archibald's dead. We shouldn't be Demo's here. dead. 
Heavy's dead. Engineers are dead. So it's just them three now. Soldier, Medic, and the Spy. See, look, right there. More framing revealing some type of... Emesis Fartisunicals. Ah, okay, so this has to do with the Valium, I'm certain. He's definitely split. Who just knocked him out? Oh, it's the spy. I wanted to learn more about the pharmaceuticals. Oh, chapter six, here we go. Catabasis, catabasis. Hello, doctor. <gasps> oh, cause remember that they, they think that he's the one that uh, killed the scout. Open it. I he can't. doesn't know what it is. I insist. It's not mine. Liar. Tell him how you got the case, Fritz. I stole it. Ah, Archibald. more head trauma for this guy. Where is Archibald? Archibald is dead. Everything this man has told you is a lie. He killed him. And the boy. Uh, that's not true. What is true to you? Or you? Who ran away. I am the only sane man here. No, you've I lost took it. A bullet for you. I should have shot you myself. Hmm. You first. Why are we doing this right now? Also, I'm pretty sure the gun is loaded. No, he's come so far. Oh. This is such tension. You're gonna make it, Fritz. I know. <gasps> oh! But he's gonna, he can come back. Goodbye. Now you know how it feels. Very, very Harvey Dent. You won. Go. He can come back. Soldier, I'll see you at the funeral. What an ass. Yeah, like, you didn't think he could just... Heavy? Enchi? Oh, the dude. Oh, the spy put him there, I suppose. Soldier is really like our, our main character. Oh! Those are the bodies. But that is like the same mir mirrored shot of the Emesis pharmaceutical. Did he jump in? This is horrific. The, the imagery in this is, is stunning. Like, whoever conceptualized this... Oh, it's like the truck from the beginning that dumps the bodies. When it was dumping it into the, the tunnel. He was having war trauma before. This is like a 10 layers of extra trauma. I 
thought somebody was gonna like reach out and grab it. Mm, nasty. They're gonna be dumped, aren't they? Pay disguising as sentries. A lot of this deals with, um, like cognizance. Wow, it's like literally the pit of hell. Rocket jump, rocket jump, rocket jump. He's gonna do it. Thanks, Pew Mew. There it is. Oh, the heavy's still alive? I thought they shot his head, though. Do it, bro. Yeah! True, don't hold W. Use the momentum to strafe. No freaking way! Are you serious? Oh wow, lucky. I I love this soldier. This soldier is the their arc has just been There is there's the tunnel from the beginning. This is horrific. Interesting. Huh? It's going backwards? Oh my gosh! I was gonna say, that looks so similar to the- <gasps> Oh my god! That's from the beginning, when he was looking and he pulled the- he pulled the- Okay, I'm...
Oh my gosh. Nod to Shawshank Redemption? Maybe. I can, I mean, I, I can definitely get that. Come out of the tunnel. Line. Mr. Dole, my name is Agent Stemmons. You don't know me, but I know all about you. I'm here to debrief you on the situation. Conagus Lot House is a dead zone. There's nothing left of it, and I think that's for the best. It was actually scheduled for demolition months ago, but Governor Archibald prevented that from happening. He had his secrets, Mr. Doe, but you discovered something that we find deeply disturbing. Something that threatens the foundation of this company. Whatever it was you saw inside Goddard's Lot House. Look, he's got like to speak of it with anyone. a scar. Not a soul. Do I make myself clear? Good. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Governor Archibald's funeral's on Sunday. We're black. Deeply disturbing is quite the understatement. Sure, Mr. Doe. I think your friend will pull through. The medic. Or the spy. Oh! Spy. Blood Brothers. I'm gonna have to look up what Catabasis means. The scout models. Glad you could make a detective. I'm sorry for your loss. I heard that you were very close. The entire NG team is defending against bots. Real. Ah, here he is. The man of the hour. You know who I am. No talk, man. Nice to finally meet you. <gasps> you know my friend Jules. Better than anyone. Fifty-eight years old. He was just a kid. I met him in 1960, right after the election. He was going on and on. How do we get rid of this son of a bitch? Um, shall we find you a seat, Mr. Man? Oh, yes, yes. I, I need to sit down. <laughs> Funerals are an absolute waste of money. Like war? If I couldn't strike my brother down, I thought God would eventually do it for me. But I'm no closer to beating Redmond than I was a hundred years ago! Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. I thought I smelled something dead in here! I've just come to offer my condolences, Blutark. Balderdash, what was my friend doing in your compound, Redmond? I don't know what you're talking about. He was like the brother I never had! You slaughtered him! Admit it! No, it was him who killed him. That's actually funny. Thank you all for coming. We are here to honor the memory of Jules Archibald. And his loss, I'm sure, has come as a shock to all of us. Jules carried Vindis lead for as long as I can remember. And though he's gone, we won't forget the sacrifices he made for this company. Of course, with the accolades out of the way, I'm sure you all want to know what happened. As you know, Jules was recently abducted from his home by some kind of underground cult. The rescue operation had gone awry. However, myself and my colleague managed to escape. Jules... died. Perhaps my colleague could explain what happened.
We're guilty for the children who was killed in your kidnapping. Or not? No. The coward took his own life. Unspeakable crimes. This unbridled act of cruelty against our own company will not go unpunished. So, in Archibald's death, <clears throat> in accordance to his will, I will be taking his place as chairman of the board. Of course, you will. Treason and corruption once and for all. What? What a plot twist. Plot twist of the frickin' century. I knew he was gonna come back! Get me out of here. There's the guy again, there's the Shadow Man. Man, he looks like he hasn't eaten in days. Skinnier than the scout over here. I'm so glad that this plot line is unresolved because I was I was like, what about the entire first half of the movie? Like I can understand everything with the, the respawn. I'm gonna tell you what is happening after this ends. Please don't. I'd rather you not. The Kubrick's there. Yeah. I don't want to hear your whatever you have to say, boy from an island. I'm sorry. I, I am sorry, but I don't have want to hear anything you have to say. Damn, so he threw him the briefcase. That's crazy. Can't you go any faster? I'm flooring it, sir. The shooting at us. Run all the red lights. What are they good for? Run all the red lights. Oh! Beautiful shot right there. Damn. I'm glad it's not over. Still gotta be about 10 minutes or so left, I have to imagine. Maybe five. Good gravel. I won. I outlived you, brother. I am the last. He's gonna get hit. Man, even his face is skinny. Mirrored shot from the beginning once again.
Nine people? Dr. Fritz Ludwig has been the prime search for the murder. It really be like that when it's raining and you're driving. Dells. Is this the Dust Bowl? Oh, look, he looks normal now. Well, semi normal. Oh, it's the guy from the beginning. Him. Because he's the one who built the machine. At least he built the perpetual life machine. I don't know. The nearest town's back the other way. That's not where I'm going. So where are you going? Maybe. Telephone? Maybe he's dead already. Maybe when he fell asleep, he died. Going to be sick. Restrooms in the back. This is just like The Shining too. The Mortem Post. What's up, Solo? Yeah, we never learned about the pharmaceuticals. God help me. Oh, remember when the beginning scout said, do you ever have visions of your teeth falling out? It's gonna be the emesis. Archibald. Hey, Doc. <gasps> I knew it. I knew he crashed. I knew he was already dead at that point. in the briefcase.
Very cool. I have to go back. Oh yeah, that was the briefcase. Cosmic Horror, yes. Aww. The drill is there, that's interesting. It's a silent night. Oh, uh, the medic respawning at the slaughterhouse. Okay, that's actually important. I didn't know that. Directed by Chad. Bye-bye! Okay. So, I think what it is, is that the medication that they were all prescribed. Mm. So it's an important piece of context to know that the soldier never took the prescription, but the medic was. Hmm. They never explain... So, we can confirm for a fact that the medic was the anomaly of the machine. He was the corrupted file because he keeps respawning. But the thing they'd never explain is... Like, who was the guy in the beginning the entire time? Oh, it's, it's the it's the scout and engineer, or medic. I mean, yeah. This is from the beginning. No, I don't, I'm trying to figure it out myself. Thank you though. Like, I'm trying to figure out who this guy is. So this is, this is the sewer and... Get something. Look, there's the pills right there, all scattered. No, those are medical pills. Brushing my teeth. All my teeth started to fall. Are you being watched? I swear there was. Look, he has like a ditch. My. I. You do. I. Um. Yeah. Okay. 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 You. Yeah, the respawn machine corrupted them. I, I I think I figured that much. So what I think it is, is the medic has a split personality and that he is the shadow figure. But we never actually like see the resolution of that because um, we never see the, re the resolution of that because obviously like it's him. Like I think that's clear. I think they make that very clear in the film throughout the entire film is Ooh. that the medic has some type of split personality and he's enacting all this all this extra stuff. Um and we know that the machine corrupts them because we saw um you know a corrupt soldier, a corrupt or not a corrupt soldier. That's the only one that who never got corrupted. We saw a corrupt heavy a corrupt sniper. The spy got badly messed up. But medic was the worst. He 
he was constantly taking the pills, which were, so they said that only nine classes were successful. We know that the scout was one of them, obviously. We know that all the nine classes were, but we actually saw like their files of like the doctor and the medic. And we know that because they were, they were, they were prescribed this medication, which, It seems to be, like if you look here, this is the same exact like imagery as the medication itself. And it's their bodies. What does he say to him? Does he say anything? No, he just laughs. Seems like a pretty straightforward story. I think I understand it. I'm trying to figure out what like the messaging is, but I don't think the messaging is like. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say because it's it's going off of a, a story like a universe which is already established being the TFT universe. I think it's probably just about autonomy and like surrendering yourself to it's hard to say let me look at actually what the comments say it's all just shitty memes The message is don't do drugs. I mean, basically, like I'm kind of getting that. It's like, don't trust the pharmaceutical companies, more or less. God, YouTube comments are such shit. No jump scares, no characters with negative IQ. This is genuine horror. Like, shut up. Let's see what this guy says. Yeah, there was a bunch of, like, there was a bunch of weird time stuff, but none of it was actually like real. I think it was just visions. So. Hey, Dell, you haven't called me in a while. How's Dust Bowl working out, brother? I rather don't pull a message from this like some sort of fairy tale to me. It's just cool sake. Everything has a message, especially something that so many people put their hard work into. Everything has a message. You don't just create something without putting some type of merit or message behind it, even on a subconscious level. Everything has, has a message. <sighs> Even if there's only like one scene which can reveal that. Can't go back for it now. Chibold? Dude. <laughs> Huh. 
Relapse is a hell of a thing, ain't it? Too late. Aye. Longer than you think. It is. What? When they figured out how to bring us back, some of us would tell stories about what we saw on the other side. We saw old friends, family. Mostly strangers. I spoke to my grandfather. It's eternity in there. So it had been running for eight years. Yeah, no, I mean, the, 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 the Valium Emesis thing definitely uh, elicits some type of psychoactive control. But I think what it is, is um, they were forcing the meds to take the, they were forcing the, the, the mercs to take the medication. And it was kind of like, um, it's like there was the respawn machine, but the Emesis pharmaceutical thing was also bringing them back because we saw that the medic came back to life multiple times and then here he he activates the corrupt file which is what ends up bringing him back in the end when he uh, when he's respawned i think that's what it is and the drugs at the same time were splitting his personality um because of the white masks um say so it, uh, it could also be a uh, natural mental degradation byproduct of the respawning machine It's part of it. I think that the whole thing was Archibald was like, I want to prolong the war. I don't care uh, about either of them. I just want to make money. And so Medic and Scout were, the, all the mercs were prescribed this medication. Um, whether or not they were taking it, we only know for certain that the um, Medic was taking it. Soldier wasn't. I imagine that um, the heavy wasn't because he was not part of the the corporation. He was a part of the the black suit wearing cult. And so what I think it is is that a lot of the mercs, the ones that didn't get laid off or still worked for the teams, defected, and they were the ones that kidnapped Archibald because they knew that he was the one who had brought the machine. And that was the whole thing with like the sniper and the pyro. Was that like, they were all like, we're gonna get our revenge on him, and so we actually see this the and and they they it's a it's a it's a natural defect because we actually see the spy defect visually. We see his his um, suit go from blue to black when he kills Archibald. So essentially, what it is is that the the respawn machine um, corrupts them. To the point where they are basically like, we're gonna do our own thing. We're gonna kill Archibald. They were they became the the cult, but the medic was taking the Valium, the Emesis, and that was what was keeping him quote unquote sane. When in reality, he was actually the cult leader. He just didn't know it because he was taking the medication. So it split his personality to where half of him was the the cult leader and the other half of him half of him was just a blue medic but at the same time the medication also had the properties to bring him back to life um something to do with the fact that he was he's like a corruption maybe because of the split personality thing 
it 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 I and this is a little a little crazy, but bear with me. It might have registered the medic as two separate souls. And so it was able to both bring him back with the machine post mothulously or whatever the term is. So that's what I think we're going with. So, because if we can go down the line, right, Blue Scout gets laid off, doesn't take the medication, he dies pretty, pretty fast. Um, and they're all seeing these, 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 um, things, you know, they're all seeing this, this, the same visions over and over again through these quote-unquote time loops. Soldier, he's our main character, he never took the drugs, he gets to live in the end, he is just following the spy, he's the spy's personal assistant, they're still on Blue Team. Um... Pyro is not really relevant. Pyro is a defector. He's a corrupt agent. Um, engineer is still working for Red, but they're kind of doing their own thing. And there's multiple engineers. There's like engineer brothers. Heavy, he was part of the cult. He was wearing the suit. He had the briefcase. They were the ones who were, I want to say distributing the medication because that's what was in the briefcase. It was the reveal of um, the fact that the medication is special. Um, oh, Demo Man. He was a part of Red. I don't even know. He was just there. He was just a character. Some of them were Red. Some of them were Blue. Some of them were the call members. But the fact of the matter is that the medic had a split personality. And he was just doing his own thing. <laughs> That's my interpretation anyway. Messaging is... Go back for it now. I don't know. It's the film. I did your part. Look up what Diazep Man is. Diazep Man. And then I also need to look up what Catabasis is. Descent into the underworld. And then. Neurological disorders because they said that he was, um, they said that he was messed up. Valium, yeah. Well, it does look like the pit of hell. What the hell is this? Who are you? Hey, Ma! I'm home! But something? Yeah, actually. You know what? Maybe 
yeah, okay. Maybe it's more simple than I think. So the respawn machine gave them these hallucinations and they were supposed to take the medicine for it because it was like anti-anxiety meds or anti-paranoia meds because they were messed up from it. And so this is all visions. Mm. Okay, maybe the guy isn't the medic, but I still think that the medic has a split personality. Because they, they highlight that way too too often in the in the film. So he definitely did some things. Because the scout punches him upon rescuing him. I'd shoot you, you sick bastard! See? No! Stop! Hmm. Gonna think this is funny when I strangle you to Blood all over the sink. Midas later some bunch of this stuff. Worse than I thought. You know, it made me think a bunch of this stuff. Said I was seeing things. And did the mitigation work? I don't know. I never took any of it. Right. But right. Mirror. This is poison. I have to think about it. It's interesting for sure. Hello, Church. Then there's all this scene. Yeah, look, it's literally like a reveal that he is the guy. And this is the cult. Maybe he is their leader. Maybe he is this the shadowy guy. If you think about it, he ends up accomplishing his goal because their whole thing was to, was to, um, he is the, and you know what? It's the time loops that are kind of, what kind of prove this is that he's kind of the proprietor of his own fate. He is both the hero of the story and the villain of the story. Like all the events occur because of what he does, but he doesn't even realize that he's doing it. So, I think it's about trauma. I think it's about trauma. I think the story is about trauma. I think we figured it out. Because the two main characters, both, one of them takes the medication, one of them doesn't. And both of them see these visions. Even, we, we even witness... Like, we hear the soldier talking with the spy, saying how, oh, this is like um, when I was fighting in the war. And then later we actually get to see those visions. So I think I think it's about trauma. I think that's, that's what it's about. But yeah. I think, um, I think we, can, we can wrap it up. I think that, that can basically concludes it. Cool. I'm glad I have something. I'm glad I was able to take something from this and now I'll, who knows, maybe I'll make a make something out of it. But yeah, I'm glad we we're able to figure that out. I appreciate the people who are still here for listening to me ramble and go on about the story and its conclusion. Uh, but I think I'll go ahead and wrap it up because it's going on for a little while. Let me know what you all think. I do think that that is what it is about. So... If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. Um, 
now that I've come to my conclusion personally, I'm more than willing to be open to hearing all your all perspectives, or rather the perspectives that you hear from other uh, YouTube videos. So, <laughs> just being a little, little bit of an ass there. Let me know what you'll think. That's the story though. It's about trauma. Hearing you ramble is interesting. Good stream. Thank you, doctor. You've been here for like an hour and a half, so I appreciate you. Yeah. Gonna think more about that. Thank you all. I don't even remember how I came to this conclusion, but I definitely think there's something there. Alrighty. Thank you all again. Uh, next week we're doing our uh, we're doing our image comp, so look forward to that. And as always, thank you for watching, and take care.